that come in and out fries if you get to them really really quickly they're pretty good i'm not gonna say they're like you know so the faster you eat them the more bearable they become before you realize they're terrible they're not terrible they're not that okay this is the point of this discussion they're not they're not that bad but they're not that great either anyways no i'm saying they're good not great but good they're a six out of ten okay so i need to clarify a few things that i said that were incorrect about this character and by this character, I mean Wolf. Um, Charlie King, of course. Uh, huge Wolf enthusiast. <laughs> you make it sound like it says it on his Twitter bio, like Charlie the King, Smash player, Wolf enthusiast. <laughs> um, but uh, I said that uh, Wolf has is his side B is similar to Fox and Falco's Illusion, and it is, but it doesn't actually have the hitbox travel behind it. Um, no. It The hitbox happens when he reaches the end of his destination, which is why the lingering hitboxes beat it out most times. Correct. Because only the, the hitbox is only active when he gets to the exact end of where it is. Correct. The other thing uh, is that his dash attack is... I th originally thought it was positional, like if you hit towards the center of him, it hits you up, and it hits if you hit like the edge of the foot, it kicks you out. That's not true. It's based on time. So when the move comes out, it, it ha throws out the hitbox that hits you up. When the the later part of the move is the part of the hitbox that sends you out. Correct. There so. you have it. Um, so this is, if you, if you guys are wondering, this is Luna. Uh, he was just shy or short of almost sitting PR. He did take a lot of big names last season. Uh, players like True Four and uh, Pepe. But unfortunately, like in the grander scale of things, there just weren't enough entrants to actually get this man PR. But had there were been enough entrants, Luna most definitely would have been probably PR. Uh, he is moving to NorCal at some point, which he has stated before. So he's definitely one of those threats that I tell people like he's not PR. But if you recognize the name, I definitely allow you to proceed with much, very much caution. Because why do we lose so much talent to NorCal? I don't like it, dude. Uh, Silicon Valley. People, hey man, people move over there to NorCal, real talk. It's getting too expensive here in SoCal. Anyways, Charlie with the forward air and the quick side B, like I said, the hitbox does start at the very end of Wolf's destination, so he's able to confirm that into that option sending Cloud upward. The one thing I'm going to tell people when you fight Charlie is you're going to have to get ready for those Twitter combos that you're not really used to seeing, and Charlie will make them happen because he knows which ones work and which ones don't. I yeah. like it. He tried to go for a Nair off the stage, but the thing here is he kind of stops himself, and Luna tried to call him out with the side B. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. The side B also allows Cloud to stall himself at that position at the ledge, so it'll buy him enough time to try to come back on the screen. You know, something I've noticed so far, um, possible I missed this, but I don't think I've seen Charlie get hit by a single um, Backer? up B out of shield. Um, Charlie's pretty good at spacing, understanding yeah. like those options out of shield, right? especially like if I tell you like, if you fight your opponent, you're uh, speak of the devil. Yeah, kind of thing, right. curse. If you fight your opponent though, you should always know your opponent. You should try to study your characters and your matchups and understand like, okay, what is the the most obvious answer for your opponent to do when they're on disadvantage and try to understand how to call it out. Charlie is really, really immaculate when it comes to those options, right? Like he knows Cloud's recovery isn't that great or his disadvantage isn't that awesome, solid. So what he's going to do is just stay there at the ledge because if Luna decides to go for the ledge, right, which is one of Cloud's most options, he's going to be there with an up smash. And when he gets up from the ledge, he was going to be there with an up smash. So like Charlie just understands, like, okay, hey, he has nowhere else to go because if he tries to go center stage, he's going to eat an up air, he's going to eat an air, a back air. And then if I stay here towards the ledge, he tries to come towards the ledge, I'll call it out right here. Yeah. So he kind of had Luna a little bit more scared than he was. Thing is, you still have to, res in my opinion, even though it's really hard to where to put in, like, Cloud, like, hey, where does Cloud rank, right? Is he high tier? Is he mid tier? Is he low tier now? Is he better? He's definitely not. I would say he's very, if he is high tier, he's probably, in my opinion, one of the worst high tiers out of all of them, simply because he's lost a lot compared to his Smash 4 duration. But he's still a character force to be really well. Like Cloud back air is still a very much good move here. And even though the Nair hitbox isn't as big as it used to be, it is still a very good option to stuff opponents from coming back on the stage. Nice, so we yes. do see him go for the stall a little bit with the first hit of Cross Slash. It does stall you in the recovery as well. Just as it is for going for the Cross Slash. Okay, landing bear. Yeah, there's another move I don't. I think maybe you missed out. On your explanation there, what makes Cloud good is, is Fair is actually a really good facing tool. Mm -hmm. facing tool. I feel like 
it wasn't used that much in Smash 4 because Cloud had so many other great options, but it, it was still in its own right. I mean, it just shows you how busted this character was in Smash 4, yeah. that he has one of his best moves in this game is exactly the same. Yeah, for forwarder is pretty good if you space it properly. If you're not spacing it that well, like you will get punished for it. Nice, goes for the climb hazard around the right position to come back up the edge. I think few characters also have a move like that with that spikes you and the hitbox comes out like directly in front of you and is disjointed. So that was really tough for Luna because he had limit. He could have gone for upbeat earlier to survive and try to come back to the ledge here, but he wanted to really just come back on the stage. Sometimes I tell people uh, what separates some of the cloud mains is when they know when to execute limit and when it's better to burn limit than to try to hold on to it. At that situation, I felt like it would have burned limit to try to come back on the stage. Would have been much better than trying to take a little forward tilt on losing the stock and then putting Charlie up in the deficit here. Yeah, I think Cloud is still pretty good with his ledge trapping in this game. Um, but we haven't seen too much of that from Luna. Oh, nice. Good I call. love that, though. I'm telling you, right? You have to know when to burn limit. Sometimes you get a little too greedy holding on to it. Compared to Smash 4, where you, the growth was a little bit different in yeah. this game. Um, it's still, if you have limit and you only have 15 seconds of fame with it, you should still not be afraid to burn it because your chances of getting another limit charge or just getting limit in general is still on the board rather than just losing a stock. Or getting edge guard and taking too much percent to lose the stock. Well, it's great if you can get limit while you're in advantage like this because you're able to cover a lot more space and be mm -hmm. more aggressive. But when you get it in disadvantage, uh, like uh, Luna did right there, I, I think it was earlier. I think that it was like good, really good choice of him to just burn it to to throw out that hitbox. Yeah. Goes for an air. Oh, he went a little bit too low. Oh, he's, 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 he's gonna, gonna he's, die. He's, 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 no, he's gonna die. Uh, I. Th yeah, he Wolf has a little bit of extended range where he's still actually able to actually grab the, the ledge. Its I recovery is not that great, but it's still able to grab ledge. And that's the thing that Luna needs to watch out too. Um, when Wolf comes back on the stage, especially for Charlie, right, he's really used to just tossing out his opponents for uh, getting a little bit too overzealous, especially at the ledge too. Like Luna was in that perfect space to get hit by the side B, and he caught Luna kind of going for an empty hop. Oh, he gets crossed up. Bear, yeah. Nice, Charlie with great PI, still surviving. Elf tilt, back air, let's see, forward air, there's still really good kill options at the ledge. Definitely. And yeah, Cloud is is still scary against the ledge because he can just stand there and then like you know, right out of get up attack range and then Oof. ooh, nice. Yeah, the thing about Wolf's side B, even though it does travel a little bit seems uh compared to Fox and Falcon Illusion, it doesn't auto snap the ledge. It has a bit like a couple frames where you can catch Wolf for trying to go for that option. Yeah, so, but when you're at the ledge a against Cloud, it's like, what do you do? You can roll, you can, you can, like, your best option is maybe jump, but, you know, being above Cloud is so bad. And yeah, back air. so you have to worry about things like 